We started with uh, Teach Your Child to Read and 100 Easy Lessons. Uh, lesson one, we started Woo! about six and a half Woo! months ago, Let's and we are now one. on <laughs> lesson one. <laughs> So hi everyone, I just want to come to you with a quick little video, my daughter's playing, she's really excited. We're gonna uh, do this party. So, as you can see, Savadi is so excited, and she's really excited because today is actually her birthday! Ah! <laughs> um, so to get out of the way, because we've had quite a bit of things yeah. going on today. And so um, we just want her to be able to do her 100 lesson. We timed it so that it could culminate on her birthday. Yeah. And that was something she has been striving for uh, diligently to make sure that she was able to meet that goal. And she did. So we're super excited. I just want to be able to give a quick video um, because she has uh, another special day on tomorrow. And so we want to make sure that um, we're able to get you an idea of the update because I do give specifics on um, how we how it went some tips and some tools on how to do it effectively for parents okay so here we go we are on lesson 100 of the teacher child reading 100 easy lessons and i wanted to be able to make some uh do a compare contrast from this lesson to the midway point which was focused on in our last video so if you can see here this is pretty similar in terms of pre-teaching words and this goes back to pre-reading being able to have your child understand some of the words that they're going to see in the story and then we come over and you should be able to tell that there is a significant difference in the amount of words that your child will have to read by the end of the program versus the middle. One thing that is also different is that there is a title and the title has been added at some point in the lessons to help your child to be able to make predictions from the title to the story. Part two is because we are looking at uh, the second part to this particular story and so they, they will go back through questions and ask, well, what was the last story about? What were some things that we um, found out about the character or what have you but if you notice here there are so many more words your child is expected to learn and to know and by the midway point there were about 40 a little over 40 words that your child would have been reading in the story and by the end of the program you can see it goes over to the next page we're talking about over 200 words so there is a difference from the middle to the very end of the program you'll notice these letters here as well and these these are referencing the questions that will be asked, the comprehension questions that are on this page. But I do want to note that your child will read the story twice. The first time is for basic decoding and being able to um, basically decode words, read with fluency, focus more on the words, the patterns, what has been learned throughout the program. The second time is for comprehension. The child will read up until you see the first letter and then a question is being asked in reference to what was read thus far. And that looks at their ability to comprehend to retain the information and those types of comprehension uh, activities. But I just wanted you to see the difference um, so that you can see where the program goes. Um, the program states that your child will be reading on a second grade le reading level. That doesn't mean that your child is going to be able to pick up a textbook and be able to read all of the words, but they will have the tools for decoding their wor those words as well as those beginning readers, the leveled readers that allow them to see words that they should be learning at that particular level. So it's important to not end with this program. And if you're interested in learning where we are and what we did next um, feel free to leave a comment and um, that could be a future video so let's jump right in at Savai reading her final lesson of teach your child to read okay for the sake of recording we're just gonna read a little bit of the story just to give you guys an idea so if I just preview the vocabulary for the story, and she'll do this after the 100th lesson, which is what is recommended. But just to give you an idea of her reading the fast way, last time you read the first part of the story about hunting for tigers. What happened at the end of that part of the story? The man uh, hit the uh, tree, the, the uh, nut mm -hmm. fell down on the, uh, I don't know. What character did the nut fall down on? Squirrel. Okay, was it a squirrel? <laughs> Who had the home that bed bugs were in? Uh, in a bed 
the mouth. Mm-hmm. The mouth. So who did the nut hit? The mouth. The mouth. Okay. So yeah, we're going to see in this part of the story, we'll find out what happened to the old man shooting at the tiger. All right. Go ahead and read the story the fast way. Hunting for tigers, part two. So this is two of the story. An old man was shooting at a tiger. The tiger sat down and started to sing the old man shot this now can I do this one time so I so I know it? Sure. Shot this shot Mountain. Sound it out, Mama. You know what to do. Use your tools. Sound out loud. Mm -hmm. Shh. Try it again. Bug. Sound it out. Bug. Bug was in bed. Back is. Mm -mm. Try that one again. Look at it again. Try it again. Okay, sound it out. Remember your blends. Remember your letters together. What is O U? Okay, try it again. Good. Okay, so we're going to stop there. I just wanted to give you all a sense of what she can do from the last lesson that I think we recorded to now. So by, as I said, turn five today. So at four, about four and a half or six and a half months, we've been doing this. And you can see a drastic difference in her ability to not just read and be fluent, but to decode and to use tools when she's stuck to learn new strategies for coming up with a word and how to remember or retain that word. So this is just a couple of things that she gained from this particular program but just wanted to guys to get a sense of how it works and I uh, hope it was helpful feel free to leave any comments and uh, we will try to answer them all right you want to say bye say bye, bye. <laughs> so if you've been following our journey you've had a chance to get glimpses from the beginning of starting the program to the very end and even some of the in-betweens of tips and tools that we use prior to even using the program and we just want to thank you for being a part of our village and tuning in i just want to leave you with three takeaways that i gained from going through this experience with my daughter. Number one, that there are beauty in firsts. There were a lot of firsts that took place when we began this journey. 
first year homeschooling. This is my first child. And with a first child, you can feel like, oh, I am just kind of blindly walking by faith and trying to figure this thing called parenting out. And then you add to that homeschooling or you add to that um, being able to teach your child some skill, uh, anything that you add to that, whether it's their own personal walk through life and some of the things that they go through early, all of those things can become overwhelming uh, because you're trying to figure it out. But I want to just say that there's such beauty in first and that we've had the chance to experience the first uh, through through my daughter, through this program, and I've gained so much as a result of going through this with her and realizing that God has equipped me for my children and that the things that I am to encounter with them is personal. And it's not just personal, but it is life changing. And it's because I've been graced with what is needed to do it, not on my own, but with God's help. I know that everything that I have and everything that's been placed in me, there is the tools to be able to do the best job that I can as a parent for my child. And I want to tell you that you are a equipped for the journey that you are on for your children and to continue to embrace that journey. The other thing I would say about FIRST is that I am my child's first teacher and if I can embrace that, there's so much that we can gain together through learning from each other. Number two would be, I think I am grateful for the village. It takes a village. The individuals that have surrounded themselves in my community of villagers have truly been a blessing to my family, to my children, and to me. And I'm so grateful during the end of this program, we were able to send out a list of uh, books that we wanted our daughter to continue with after the program to gain and continue on her literacy journey. And so we solicited our village and we asked them to donate, used, or bought books uh, so that on her fifth birthday we could be able to present them to her so she could know that we are so, 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 so proud of her process and that we want her to continue to grow and to learn and to love reading. And so they did that. They came together and donated more, well over 25 books to start her journey uh, after this program. So I'm grateful for the village. And then finally, the rewards far outweigh the investment. Everything that you put in, it can be laborious. It can feel like some days, what did I sign up for? What is this thing that I just said that I was going to commit to? But I am so, so grateful that I can see the rewards beyond just the reward of her reading and seeing her read, but the rewards gained from watching her and experiencing it with her and knowing that I am better for it and watching and seeing that we are all growing and we're growing as a family together. To any homeschool mom that started this journey, and you're like, what is this? Where am I? I just want you to know that there is beauty in seeing the rewards and they far outweigh the investment of what you put in. So continue be encouraged to any parent. Know that you are a critical piece to lay foundation for your children. I hope that you'll take advantage of the free downloads that we have below in the link and know that we will be offering those for the month of July and continue on that. You'll receive every free download once you join our village. And we just thank you for being a part of our journey continue to uh, join us for future videos and we look forward to continuing with you. Be blessed. Who was that girl of yesterday? A child of grace somehow misplaced but you showed her the way. You put a starlight in her eye. Oh yes you did. Unlocked her dreams, you showed her things. She couldn't keep inside, nor she vowed to give her life to you, to trust the voice within, to guide her back to truth.